and very quickly show you this agentic rag because I think seeing it really makes it kind of click in. Agentic rag is a little bit more interesting. So very quick, if you know, quick rag primer. If you're not familiar with rag, it means retrieval augmented generation. And it's a method that is used to essentially update the context of an LLM in real time. Because what happens, you know, the, the LLMs, large language models, have the knowledge they're trained on, right? But unless you have tool use or an agent or something like that, or maybe let's say you have um, domain knowledge, business domain knowledge that the LLMs don't have, there's going to be some information that they're missing, right? In this particular example, what we did is we built an agentic RAG setup that uh, uses um, a huge data set that we got from LinkedIn is a LinkedIn job posting data set, right? Similar to what we've seen in our agentic flow so far, right? Very similar that I, again, have like a parent agent here. Now this one's a little simpler, right? Um, but what we've done with this one, because again, this one's just responsible for kind of like the planning and resource management, right? So it's got a set of tools, URL and calculator, just like before, but just like we saw, it has an agent as a tool. This agent is what? It is specialized in looking up LinkedIn job postings. So again, that modular design, making it you know very focused on being good at a particular job, right? And then what we're gonna do here is when the user asks some question, I, in this case, asked, find me the top five software engineer jobs available in Chicago and provide the company websites. Now what it's gonna do, it's gonna feed that here. In this case, I'm using the AstroDB component. It's one of the vector stores, right? So I'm using that component. I've hooked it up to a particular database and a collection, right? And you saw a second ago that if I look, you can see all these Chicago, Illinois software engineer jobs, right? Because that was the, this is the retrieval part, right? This is the part where I'm asking a vector database for some data. The rest of this is me just massaging the data to put together. You can see now for every one of these, right? I've got all this nice structured data that goes into my agent. And now if we take a look, cool. So when I asked it to find me the top five software engineer jobs available in Chicago, provide the company websites. Well, look at what it did here. It gave me that LinkedIn job URL. You can see, yeah, you can see this one went off and get got the, uh, use the URL component most likely to kind of find those, right? You can kind of see what it's doing as you, as you open it up. Um, so this is a case where this information that it's getting, it didn't just get this from the web, it got this from the LinkedIn job postings. Right, that's where it got this kind of information from. Um, and, you know, so that's just a basic example of using agentic rag, right? I know it's easier if you have the flow. Like I said, I think we can put those. I, I'm happy to include the flow uh, in the follow-up email.